Hello viewers, what's up? In the last lecture, I have shown you how to create a Java connection class. And today I'll show you how to establish a connection. So let's open the NetBeans. And you see, this is our Java database connection class. And this is our login class for login window. So let's go to the source code. And you see, by creating a login JFrame, a constructor is created automatically. So we need to declare the connection variable before the constructor. So this is the idea. Let's create a connection variable private connection. Initially it is null. Let's add import java dot school dot connection. So we have initialized the connection variable and this is null. So when or where will we create the connection? You see, there is a button in this window. So, after clicking this button, we will execute some commands or instructions. So, whenever we will click this button, we can establish the connection. You see, if we have three or more or several buttons, then what will happen? we need to create a connection for each of them or we can create a single connection for this whole class or whole window so where will we declare the connection you see this is the constructor and at first whenever we will call this constructor by creating object you see here is our object and by declaring this object the constructor is called automatically and then the functions in it i mean methods init components is called then the init components set the login from here and then I have created a method that is called init. It set the location relative to null. That means in the middle point. So whenever we will create an object of this login class, at first this method will be called, then this method, and then we can specify the connection. That means we can establish connection for this whole window or class so we can declare the connection here connection is equal our class name is java db connect and you see there is a method that is called db connect in the java db connect class and we declared the method db connect static so we need not create any object of this class we can directly access db connect method by calling java db connect class i have told you this before and now i am doing this so we need to access the method declared in java db connect class and the method is db connect so we need to create the local variable connection three four
sorry this will be in a small letter so that's